All right, guys, KB32 here, checking it out. We're set up here in the Northern office. I wanted to do a real quick video uh, today talking about uh, the Secret Service Director Cheadle uh, and the hearing that was held on the Hill. I had an opportunity to listen to a little bit of it, uh, but what I really was interested in was just the beratement from the Democrats on uh, gun control. The whole, the whole thing turned into a gun control thing here. Okay. So, um, I wanted to share some of these things with you and my thoughts. So it, it literally is, it's almost embarrassing for this, particularly this one guy. Um, he, he's, I've been in a situation where I have been berated just similarly like this and somebody of that nature needs to have their ass beat. With that, let me go ahead and start off with, uh, Rankin. Here we go. Stand by. We must therefore also ask hard questions about whether our laws are making it too easy for potential assassins to obtain firearms generally and the AR-15 specifically. Last year, we had 655 mass shootings in America, defined as four or more people being shot or killed in a single event, not including the shooter. Here are the worst mass shootings in the last uh, 11 or 12 years. It's time to pass universal background checks and build on this administration's work to ensure that we permanently close the loopholes in the Brady Law for gun show purchases, online purchases, and private sales. We have to find the courage and resolve to pass a ban on the AR-15 and other assault weapons. We have passed an assault weapons ban before. Raskin, sorry, Raskin. Uh, so it, it was interesting to me that they did this, they were had a purpose. They were supposed to be there. They were supposed to be asking specific questions. But what they did was they jumped on the gun control ban, the AR-15 ban, uh, weapons on the streets, uh, concealed carry in DC. Next is a lady who is from the District of Columbia. And I want you to listen to this. Here we go, stand by. For years, Republicans, including a member of this committee, have introduced legislation and amendments to repeal or block the District of Columbia gun violence protection laws, including its bans on assault weapons and large capacity magazines. Would, would, would C Secret Service protectees in D.C. be safer or less safe if people in D.C. could carry concealed handguns with large capacity magazines? Uh, would Secret Service protectees in D.C. be safer or less safe if more people could carry handguns uh, in D.C.? All right, so this next guy, Connolly, okay? Uh, yeah, I think he's from Virginia. We're going to do this in sessions because this cat literally was uncalled for. It was off topic, had nothing to do with anything other than gun control, banning AR-15s. Now, there are some things, my friends... Uh, uh, on one particular side of the aisle don't really want to talk about, like AR-15s and access to them by a 20-year-old, or anybody for that matter. Anybody for that matter? Really, dude? <laughs> it's called a Second Amendment. It's the most popular rifle in the world. This is the guy who's on top of the ban, if anybody is on top of a ban. Here we go, one more section. Ubiquity of weapons guns in America, especially assault weapons or semi-automatic weapons, that's helped your job and the mission of your agencies, right? It's, it's made it less complicated. Isn't that true? I'm sorry. I'm not understanding your question. Real simple. More guns, especially dangerous ones, have made your job protecting people easier. Is that not right? I think at, uh, from every Direct state the cheater. This is simple English. More guns, are, do they make your job more complicated or less complicated in protecting these 36 clients and visiting heads of state and heads of government that come to Washington? I think the Secret Service needs to take into account. I didn't ask that. that they're in. I'm, I'm sorry. I asked a simple question, which deserves a simple answer. The ubiquity of guns, dangerous weapons in America, like AR-15s, has that made your job, that is to say the mission of the Secret Service, easier or more difficult? I think the threat environment for protecting our uh, Secret Service uh, protectees is always difficult, and that's dynamic, and it's always evolving. We stipulate it's always difficult. I, again, this is a simple one. Do, does the ubiquity of guns make your job easier or more difficult today? 
I understand the Second Amendment rights of individuals. I didn't ask that question. I'm not questioning the Second Amendment. I'm asking a simple analysis, Director Cheadle. And I can tell you, you're not making my job easier in terms of assessing your qualification for continuing on as director. Please answer the question. You're the head of the Secret Service. Um, intimidation. All right, so fine. They made a lot of mistakes out there. We've been talking about it for way too long. We know what happened, okay? That rooftop was hot. Nobody wanted to get up on top of it. Nobody did a, a, a risk assessment of the area that should have been a little bit better, okay? You're speaking on behalf of 8,000 members who put their lives on the line. We just had a failure by your own admission. Do guns make your job easier or harder? That weapons, isn't my question. Personnel. That is not my question. And now I think you're evading the answer, which is not a hard one. I am sorry that you feel that way, sir. H how else could I feel, Director Cheadle, when you're clearly avoiding a direct answer to a very simple declarative question? A 20-year-old had access to his father's AR-15, and I'm asking you, did the availability of that AR-15, which is replicated all across America, make your job harder or easier, and you're not willing to answer that question? And you think, and, and you wonder why we might have a lack of confidence in your continued ability to direct this agency? I understand your question, and that's the environment. Well, if you understand my question, why not answer it? Because it's the environment that the Secret Service works in every day. That, that doesn't tell me anything. But the intimidation, what we're talking about is they use this opportunity to, for this hearing to highlight uh, their wantedness to ban everything. This one guy's talking about clips, clips, this, clipazines, and everything else, which, you know what, if you don't know what you're talking about with firearms, shut the hell up, okay? Guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought it would be really cool just to do this video real quick. Um, this, it's, yeah. All right, with that, I was in them like this. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, hey, got a damn flamethrower coming. Real cool. We're going to be doing some more tripod reviews. We've got some cool clamps we're going to be doing. Uh, got some uh, infrared uh, uh, night vision coming. And uh, some really cool uh, high value, low, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, man. Low power variable optics. So anyway, with that, Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. Haha. <laughs>